and thank you for joining another wonderful, fabulous episode of the Faux Song Elizabeth Cookie Show. I'm the CEO and Mistress Secretary of Goddesses Incorporated and the ultimate anime mascot goddess that covers all information regarding the Bisojo Sinji universe, women of fighting video games, and women of anime. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in as I temporarily interrupt our regularly scheduled program of the lost episodes of Shanghai Hotness of Anime in China. So I got up out of my bed wearing this shabby robe and my hair undone to talk about the latest news that is actually hitting all over the wave. So Sailor Moon, a new season of Sailor Moon is coming out summer of 2013. I repeat, 2013, 2013, Sailor Moon, new season, where now, according to Nako Takeuchi, the series is going to be followed closely to the manga. So let's do a little recap of what Sailor Moon is. Back in 1992, Sailor Moon was released based upon this manga, of course, the creation of Nako Takeuchi, in which a 16-year-old girl gets followed home by a cat named Luna who can talk, who gives her a transformation pin and says that she must now defend the world from evil known as the Soldier of Love. From there on out, Sailor Moon's popularity would grow, and it would span over five seasons. Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon R, which is Romance, S, Super S, and then Stars, the season that would end the series, which was never released in the U.S. due to the controversy of three men that transform and become women. So in an event that happened not too long ago in France, Clover Z did the opening theme song, their own version of Moonlight Densetsu, where they used that as a cover to talk about how Nako Takeuchi will release in the summer of 2013 a retelling of the story of Sailor Moon, which will follow closely to the manga. For, for this, for those of the Otaku universe, this is not really much of a surprise. Although 15 years ago, Nako Takeuchi said in an interview um, concerning Juichi no Sato, the creator of the actual um, animated film, was that the series created by Mr. Sato himself was more of his vision and not of hers. And so Nako is now given another, another chance to basically go and recreate her series, but this time under her original guidance and her original vision as to how it was in accordance to the manga that she created so long ago. So I'm going to do a little rec recap of what Sailor Moon was. So Sailor Moon starts out in the first season as the Dark Kingdom saga. Um, Negaverse in the American version, where Sailor Moon goes up against Queen Beryl, the one who destroyed the Moon Kingdom so long ago, where they're born reborn on Earth, utilizing her four generals, Zoisite, Jedi, Malachite, and Nephlite. Sailor Moon, along the way, eventually defeats um, the four generals and also acquires the Sailor Soldiers along her way, where they finally are able to create the inner Sinchi. Towards the end, she fights... Queen Beryl, who then gets taken over by Queen Metalia, a separate force, um, and of course in a final battle to the finish, overcomes the onslaught of Beryl, in which she also gets killed in the process, only to be reborn with new memories and new thoughts, which opens up in season two, our romance. The first half of romance in the second season is all about Anne and Alan and the Doom Tree from another planet, where they must sustain the life force of other people to survive. Sailor Moon eventually gets a whole new weapon, um, heals Anne and Alan and actually sends them off back into space where they can start new lives again. And the other half of ours where Rini, her daughter from the future, gets sent by a future version of herself known as Neo Queen Serenity to come in and change the events of the past so that the future can be changed whereas Wise Man and the Negamoon family of the Dark Moon of Nemesis has been taken over. Sailor Moon in the end eventually defeats the Doom Phantom and then it leads on into a re cap in which they talk about the events of what happened in the first and second series. At the end, which is known as Follow the Leader in America, um, Sailor Mars starts having visions of two new Sailor soldiers that could possibly be enemies, in which S. Supers introduces them known as Neptune and Uranus, in which they are in search of pure hearts to go find the Messiah not knowing that they're the ones with the pure hearts themselves, they will eventually find this out towards the end of the series where they then sacrifice themselves to go shoot themselves in the head with a Death Buster ray gun, which reveals that they're the ones with the talisman. Where the three talisman utilize the cup, the orb, and the sword, it creates an entity in which Sailor Moon is able to use to become Super Sailor Moon to go up against 
Pharaoh 90, which is being constructed by Sailor Saturn, who is known as the Soldier of Silence. She's temporarily being taken over by Mistress 9. With the help of the other Sailor Soldiers, they're able to not only defeat Professor Tomoe, Coyote Knight, the Death Busters, and Pharaoh 90, but also able to liberate Sailor Saturn from her being controlled under Mistress 9, in which she is also reborn and adopted by new parents, closely being watched under by Sailor Pluto. Season 4, Super S, then talks about and reintroduces only the inner Sinchi as to where Rini starts, comes back from the future, once again to get training, but then has a close connection between a horse known as Pegasus, who is actually disguised as a human known as Helios, who was once trying to run away from an evil queen known as Nehalania, who is seeking immortality and can only do this by breaking off the horn on the top of Pegasus' head. The series climax of Super S reaches its end in Sailor Stars, which is never released in America due to the controversy of homosexuality. Nehalania is eventually healed by Sailor Moon and sent back in time where she could relive the events of her life so one day she could find true love. And the rest of Stars is then introduced by Sailor Galaxia, a sailor soldier throughout the far regions of space who believes that she could destroy the essence of evil herself. Eventually, this essence known as chaos takes over a sailor galaxia and she's forced to release the essence of her soul known as a star seed, which then becomes a separate entity known as Sailor Iron Mouse. To sustain her consciousness, Sailor Galaxia goes around to every planet devouring all the sailor star seeds and all the seeds of the planet until she reaches a planet in which has a sailor star fighter, maker, and healer, in which they must flee to save their princess. Looking for the Messiah, they flee to Earth to find Sailor Moon is actually the Messiah, and they all must go up against Galaxia in one big climactic battle that ends the series. Despite all of her magic powers and all of her talismans that get destroyed, Sailor Moon then reawakens in herself to find out that in the end she never needed a magic wand to defeat anyone. All she had to do was to believe in herself that she she could reawaken and reach her higher self to become the goddess that she truly was to fight Galaxia, defeating her through love. So now that that is a short cap from seasons one through five, the real question is how will this actually melt with the fans of the series from so long ago? Now that Sailor Moon is going to be reinvented in the eyes of Takeuchi herself and not Junichi no Sato, this, can, this can, is actually can go either way. Um, is actually getting a brotherhood treatment right now for those who know Full Metal Alchemist. Sailor Moon in itself, um, as we all know, she commits um, suicide in that first couple of manga, which talks about the past, the original attack of the Moon Kingdom in the time of the Silver Millennium. I want everyone to send me your thoughts, your comments, on this video, let me know what you think. Um, continue to do the research and even send me some links regarding Sailor Moon 2013 as I will be closely watching upon this um, as time goes by, as time elapses. Um, we will be waiting quite some time before the first initial release. Um, for right now, for those who want to do the research on this, if you can, the original comics was released by Winx, Winx comic books back in the day, sold by Barnes & Noble. The Silmo manga also was then re-released by Tokyo Pop. This also shows the original format of what it is in. And since Miss Nako Takeuchi is going to be following that, this should be giving us an idea of what it's going to be with the whole new reinvented theme song done by Clover Z. Say cookie!